In the new iOS 18, you can now set a different app icon for the dark mode and a separate icon for a brand new tinted mode. All you need is the new Xcode 16 and of course the icons. I have a demo app here. In the Xcode, if you will go to Assets, App Icon, as you can see right now we not only have one icon, the app icon, we have three of them. So it's like the any appearance, the dark and tinted. When we will add one icon, this is the, the default one. It used to be just one <laughs> app icon. If you will add it, and as you can see, the app icon is uh, not existing. When we will build it, we have uh, the regular icon. When we will set the dark mode here, right now in the simulator, uh, and you can do this by holding the command shift and A. As you can see, we have the dark mode, but the icons are still the same. Uh, to do this, to fix this, we need to go to, to tap and hold on the background, go to edit, customize, and here by default, as you can see, we have the light mode. We need to switch this to automatic, or if you prefer, you can just set it to, to the dark mode. Let's switch this to automatic, and right now, all other icons are set to the dark mode. This is how this looks uh, inside the light mode. When we switch to dark mode, our app still is in the light mode because we have just one icon. When we'll add another icon, the dark mode icon, and build the application, go back, and as you can see, we are in the dark mode and our app is switched to the dark mode. Change to the light mode and our app have a different icon. It is really nice, it gives you this addition customization that, that you can add to your application. And we have also this, this one, the tinted. By default, if we will go to tap and hold, edit, customize, and choose this one, the tinted. As you can see, when we are changing the tint, it automatically try to fill the icon with the tint color, and the background is black. When we'll switch to the light mode, it is the same. It looks the same, the tint is being applied to the same icon. We can also add our custom tinted icon. By do this, you can just grab the icon to the tinted one, build. And as you can see right now, the app icon is a little different. It is the solid color here inside the icon and the white background is being replaced by the tint. It is the same if you will reverse this and have the black background and white icon. And we'll build this. As you can see, the tint right now is applied inside the icon itself, inside the, inside the logo, and the background is black. And one more thing, if you will remove the tinted and the dark mode, and if your logo is, for example, transparent, if you have transparent logo, if it is transparent, if you will add it to your application, by default, when you will build your app, your icon will have a white background. This is a, this is a default, it used to be uh, like this forever. But if you will switch it to the dark mode, as you can see, the Xcode will try to replace your icon and you will have a dark background. And it works the same for the tinted. It will try to apply the tint to your existing icon. I really like this new feature, especially the tinted mode. It gives you this extra thing of customization. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Uh, are you going to use it? Tell me more in the comment section. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one.